Investing comes in all forms and sizes. Feeding your cow all the time until it's able to produce milk is investing. Coaching young athletes and witnessing them win a trophy is investing. Teaching children the way things work and watching as they grow up and excel in life, that's also investing. Investing isn't just limited to stocks and properties. Right now, you're currently investing in your knowledge as you watch this video. And since investing is all around us, there are also many ways to make you financially stable through investing. One of these includes dividend investing. But before I dig deep into this method, you can also invest in this channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. Now, dividend investing is a sure passive way of earning money. It doesn't require analytical skills and too much technicality, just your money and trust in the company. Back in the 1980s, companies would pay shareholders a hefty dividend averaging over 6% and even 7% back in the 1950s, which was very lovely. But that was then, and now, the shareholders are having a difficult time living off of their dividends as the average SP500 dividend stocks were only able to yield 1.29% in December of last year. Thus, retiring early and living a stress-free life with your dividend as support in this current world now just feels like a dream. So how much money should we save to live off dividends if there's only a 1.29% dividend yield annually? Let me give you an example. Say you want to earn $40,000 per year in dividends as a pre-tax amount, which is about $3,333 a month. With the current dividend yield of 1.29%, you need to have $3,100,775 in your account to have a dividend of $40,000 a year, and that's still without taxes if this is to be done outside of a retirement brokerage account, which is pretty much impossible for most citizens. Georgetown University conducted a recent study that showed that Americans with a bachelor's degree can earn an estimate of $2.8 million throughout their career while those with a high school education can only expect to earn about $1.6 million over the entirety of their lives, which doesn't even include expenses for vacations, children and their education, daily necessities, groceries, utilities, and mortgages. So even if you have a bachelor's degree and save your salary without spending even a single penny, it would still be difficult to have $3.1 million to have a comfortable life on dividend distributions. As a normal citizen, what could be done to live a life free from worries about your financial situation? If you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. The previous question can be answered with what they have started with, investing, and more investing. Most people invest in dividend growth stocks or ETFs, which is short for exchange traded funds. Through this, they slowly build up their portfolio over the years. This is recommended for everyone, especially the younger generation, because there's nothing wrong with investing especially if you have some extra cash. Why not dip a little into stocks and watch as the money comes passively? It's a good strategy to put money into a dividend ETF or even an index fund, but there are also things to consider before this. First and foremost, if you're investing in a retirement account with yearly contribution limits, you should hone your stock trading skills or have also invested early in an index fund to achieve that million saving in mind. The medium IRA balance or the individual retirement account for people aged 55 to 56 only has $124,000, which is not enough to live off of dividends. Even investing in an index fund in a non-retirement account consistently and living off the principal later wouldn't hold up a torch to that million in mind because every time you sell shares to fund your retirement expenses during a down market, you have to keep selling to cope up with your expenditures. Are you still keeping up with me? I know that what I've stated so far has been disheartening and very opposite to my title. I swear though, this video isn't clickbait. What I'm about to show you next are the keys to living a life free from financial concerns or even to early retirement. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before we proceed. Two major things have been happening in the stock market that make living off dividends easier than ever before. For the past few years, one has been with us while the other event is currently going on right now as we speak. The first one includes the promotion of new investment vehicles that offer insanely high and dependable dividend distribution to their holders, which is referred to as covered call ETFs. This type of investing involves a strategy where the fund buys a basket of stocks in an index, then sells call options that parallel to that of a basket of stocks. This has a dividend yield of up to 12 to 13% or even more. It was launched in the year 2013 
and due to it being such a hit, companies such as JP Morgan and Nationwide have been launching their versions of this. The sold options every month are passed on to the shareholder as insanely high dividends. However, this type of investing hardly offers any growth at all. Many of these don't experience share price appreciation, but this is compensated with its massive dividend yields. Some of the most popular covered call funds are QLD, JPI, XYLD, and RYLD. RYLD, or the Russell 2000 Covered Call ETF, currently offers a dividend yield of 13.3% because of the very unstable market these days. Even with a flat share price performance, RYLD offers its investors 20 to 25 cents every single month, which is quite dependable even with all of the roller coaster rides in the market. This further solidifies that covered call ETFs are still among the top methods of earning high dividend income monthly. Rather than saving up to $3.1 million to earn $40,000 annually, you only need to have $315,974.75 to have $40,000 annually, assuming that RYLD keeps paying your share of $0.24 cents per month. Even if you don't have that $300,000 right now, you can just begin by reinvesting your monthly dividend until it builds up or forms a large position in growth ETF then transfer it over to RYLD by the time you retire. And with that, these new covered call ETFs are the answer to the people's call as it gives off great payments with much less money. Before we move on to the second major thing in the stock market, once again, hit the like and subscribe button to support this channel. We're all aware of what's happening in the world right now. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has led to many changes all over the globe, one of which is the devastation of stock prices. Currently, the SP500 is down by almost 14% from the start of the year, mainly because of the ongoing war. This made stock prices go down a lot. Many dividend stocks are being traded with a discounted price, including covered call ETFs. However, if covered call ETFs are not your cup of tea in investing, you can choose another option, which is the store capital ticker symbol, STOR, which is among famous billionaire Warren Buffett's stocks in his portfolio. Like freshly baked bread, market stocks are continuously being sold off at cheap prices. And this offers an impressive 5.28% dividend yield, which is a far cry from the previous less than 4% yield. The unpredictability of the market has raised the dividend yield, and if this keeps going down even more, dividend stocks are going to be selling at low prices, offering higher dividend yields, making people buy more shares and collect more dividends. Now, I'm not happy with war because it only brings about grief to the people, but as an investor with increasing my profit in mind, much like everyone else, when there's an opportunity right in front of you, it should be grabbed right away. Taking advantage of the discounted stocks will only be the first step in increasing your share. All sectors will have a hard time for a while and this will open more chances for you to buy even more dividend stocks. If you plan on investing money in dividend stocks, one suggestion I'd give is for you to invest in dividend aristocrats which increase their dividends once a year for at least 25 years. They're known as the best of the best in dividend growth stocks as they not only give high dividends but also ensure security. In market sell-offs, their dividend yield grows up to 4% or even 5% or more. Just a reminder, be attentive to the changes in the market. Earning money passively is the most desirable type of income if I may say so myself. With passive income, you don't have to exert effort in going out of your house just to go to work. Living off your dividend is truly the life to be. Be worry-free and live comfortably as you retire in a villa overlooking the sunset if you invest your money right. Alright, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button before you go. See you!